time signatures. What are they? How do you use them? Well, that is exactly what this video is all about. And I'm going to deconstruct and give you everything that you need to know about time signatures and why we have them. So firstly, time signatures are found at the beginning of a piece of sheet music and they are most often seen as two numbers, one on top of the other. They can also be seen as a C or a C with a line through it as well. And by the end of this video, you will know exactly what they mean as well. When reading and counting music, we count the music using something called beats. The reason we count music in beats and not in seconds or minutes or any other time system, for example, is because we can change the speed of beats, but we can't change the speed of something like seconds. So for example, this note here is a one beat note. If you have lots of those one after the other, no matter how fast they are, they will all last the same amount of time as each other. Like one, 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 one. And a two beat note will last twice as long. And that looks like one, two, one, two. So if you have music that includes two and one beat notes, then you would do this. One, two, one, one, two, one. No matter how fast you play your one beat notes, your two beat notes will be twice as long. To make counting easier and more manageable, beats are grouped into something called bars. And in sheet music, bars are split up using bar lines. This is where time signatures come into play. A time signature's job is to tell us how many beats there are in a bar. So that's where a time signature is on a page of music and what its basic function is. But what do the numbers in a time signature mean? Well, time signatures kind of have their own system for note lengths, and I will show you what I mean. Now, the top number in a time signature is relatively straightforward. This means how many. So if the top number is four, then that means there are four beats in a bar. If the top number is three, then that means that there are three beats in a bar. If the top number is 42, then that means there's 42 beats in the bar. And if the top number is 161, then that means there's 161 beats in a bar. However, this is where it gets a little more confusing because we need to also know what the bottom number does. The top number means how many, and the bottom number means what type. And by this, I mean what type of beat or beat length are we going to be counting? So the most important number to understand here is the number four, because this is the most common and the easiest to understand. If the bottom number is four, then you are going to be counting one beat notes. I'll say it again to help you remember that. If the bottom number in a time signature is four, you are going to be counting one beat notes. So if the time signature is four, four, then you'll be counting four, one beat notes in a bar. If the time signature is three, four, then you're going to be counting three one beat notes each bar. Or if the time signature is 561, four, then you are going to be counting 561 one beat notes in a bar. However, what if the bottom number isn't four? Well, this is where time signatures have their own system. So if the bottom number is eight, then that means half beat notes. In music, half beat notes look like this. Or you can join the tails together so two half beat notes next to each other might look like this. If you come across a time signature like 6 8, for example, this means there are six half beat notes in a bar. Or 12 8 means there are 12 half beat notes in a bar. So when it comes to the bottom notes in a time signature, here is the rule if you double the note, you half the note length. So if the bottom number is four, then it's one beat notes. If the bottom number is eight, then it's half beat notes. If the bottom number is 16, then it's quarter beat notes. 32 is eighth beat notes and so on. You can also go the other way. So if four is one beat notes, two is two beat notes, and one is four beat notes. This part is perhaps the most confusing because the numbers at the bottom of a time signature don't easily relate. However, the most common you will see are four, which is one beat notes, eight, which is half beat notes, and two, which is two beat notes. If you know these, then that will cover most music you will see. However, there is once again slightly more to it, and this is because there are some time signatures that look like they should be the same thing. For example, the time signature 3-4 means three one-beat notes in a bar, 
and the time signature 6-8 means six half-beat notes in a bar, and you might think, well, isn't that just the same? Three one-beat notes is the same as six half-beat notes. And the answer is yes and no. So yes, there is the same amount of beats in each of these bars. However, you count and feel these time signatures differently, and this is because of something called simple and compound time signatures. Time signatures don't just tell us how many beats there are in a bar. They also tell us which of the beats are important and which beats to emphasize. Earlier, I told you that half beat notes can look like this, or they can look like this if there are two next to each other. How these half beats are grouped together is determined by the time signature and which beats of the bar need to be emphasized. So a simple time signature has half beats grouped into twos or fours. So four four has four one beat notes in the bar. And if there were any half beat notes in a piece of music with a four four time signature, they would be grouped into twos and fours because the strong beats are beats one, two, three, and four or beat one and three depending on the bar and the piece of music. The same goes for a three four time signature. Here, the strong beats are beats one, two, and three. So half beats would be grouped into twos. I know that that's slightly confusing, but it will make more sense once you understand what a compound time signature is. So a compound time signature is where half beats are grouped into threes. And this is where the difference comes into play between three, four, and six, eight. Six, eight is a compound time signature. So half beats are grouped into threes. And as we are counting half beats, because the bottom number of the time signature is an eight, you will count one, two, three, four, five, six. And because half beats are grouped into threes, the strongest beats are beats one and four, the first note of each group of three. So in a three, four time signature, you hear three independent beats in the bar, one, two, three. But in six, eight, you hear two stresses in the bar, one, two, three, four, five, six, even though both three, four and six, eight have the same amount of beats in the bar. If you are finding this video valuable, be sure to like the video and consider subscribing for more videos like this one. Thanks. Also, if you are a beginner learning the piano and you want to get better at sight reading and reading music in general, there are 22 free sight reading exercises available in the description for you to download, which is from my full sight reading book. The full book includes 420 exercises which go through step by step to give you the proper foundations in sight reading music. Some common simple time signatures are 2-4, which is two one beat notes in a bar, which you would count 1-2. 3-4, which is three one beat notes in a bar, which you would count 1-2-3. And 4-4, four, four, which is four one beat notes in a bar, and you would count that as 1-2-3-4. And some common compound time signatures are 6-8, which is six half beats in a bar, which you would count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 9-8, which is nine half beats in a bar, which you would count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And 12-8, which is 12 half beat notes in a bar, which you would count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So having said all of this, I can now tell you what the C and the C with a line through it means, which I mentioned all the way at the beginning of this video. So the C stands for common time, and this just means 4-4, four, four, because this is the most common time signature. It's as simple as that. And a C with a line through it means cut time, and this is the same as writing a 2-2 two, two time signature. 2-2 two, two means two, two beat notes in a bar. Now, two two-beat notes in a bar is the same amount of beats as four one-beat notes in a bar. However, the stresses are different. In four-four, you count one, two, three, four. And in two-two, you count one, two, three, four. So the feeling of the music is different and the stresses are in different places. In 2-2, two, two, they are more spaced out than they are in 4-4. Four, four. Very similar to the difference between a 6-8 time signature and a 3-4 time signature. There are the same amount of beats in a bar, but the stresses are in different places. As ever, if you have any questions about time signatures or want help with anything in this video, let me know in the comments. Now you know how time signatures work, you need to know how to actually play in time, which is exactly what this video is about. So if you are interested in that, head on through and I will see you there.